This is Interviews, the series where I talk to folks I've never met in real life about things unrelated to the pandemic, including jumpsuits. Today's guest is Rachel Forbes. Tell me a little bit about your background in training. Like, did you uh, go to post-secondary school or did you train with an artist or? Yeah, I mean, I did, I, I did all those things. I, I studied at Ryerson in the sort of like uh, production, performance production stream. So a, a pretty technical background, I would say. Um, and then from there, I, I did an apprenticeship with Obsidian. How did you get hooked into that? I guess, oh, you know what? I was working on something. So a friend called me in to do, so he needed some like carpentry help. Back then I was doing, still doing a lot of like hard tech stuff or more of it. And uh, yeah, and, and Philip was directing that show and he saw me and like, I had, you know, a saw in hand. I was like on the set on a ladder, <laughs> cutting holes in the set. And he was like, what, who are you? Like he had not seen a, a black, um, production person and we're kind of like, like unicorns or like leprechauns or something would show up every once in a while. And so <laughs> he was very surprised and excited and, uh, and sort of like made me stop what I was doing and like come talk to him. And I think that was the year after I graduated and the next year I did the, the program with Obsidian. What were the words you said unicorn and, uh, and leprechaun? I don't want <laughs> to put that on you. I spent a lot of time thinking like about myself in this, uh, in this sort of you know climate that we're in right now and sometimes i think some like a lot of us will feel a bit of guilt if we're not activists um if you if you know what i mean um and and i've been i struggle with that because i really do feel like um my form of activism is literally just being out there and doing the work because across canada like i don't know any other established black designers or set in costume that are still working. I mean, I think there, you know, there might have been some people, but I haven't had any mentors and I don't have any peers that I know of. I know there are a few people coming up, which is so exciting. I can't wait for them to be, you know, on the scene. Um, but yeah, I don't find that like, for me, I don't, I don't necessarily, I don't have like eloquent arguments about this stuff. Like I'm, I don't know, like I, I just want to be out there doing the thing. I am recording because um, I want to see it. it. Yes! Can you see how cool my jumpsuit is? Hold on. Hold on. Rachel! Right? Isn't this dope? It's got that legs. Is... It's good. <laughs> this is I not love awesome. this. <laughs> okay, I want you to know that I just recorded that from my side, so it might be in the end. <laughs> uh, can you, at this point in your career, can you describe your aesthetic? I don't know. I have a way of, I feel like I like to, to, play, to make them. Um, playground as it were I don't uh, I like to just leave lots of room for for any moment that might arise and and I find it really hard to be too prescriptive my next door neighbor started mowing their lawn with the loudest lawnmower in the world <laughs> my partner is in the shower and my cat just started meowing at the door so like Nick oh, I can't hear any of that oh good okay okay <laughs> Nick who as you know is our editor for this piece uh, probably <laughs> me right now in that in that space uh of collaboration what are some of the things that you gain from that because you talk about collaboration um with such delight so what is what is it that you get from working with other designers uh, for me it's a lot about perspective it's a lot about realizing that like other people are going to interpret things differently the same way that you're we're going to have an audience of you know hundreds thousands of people the more we can imagine, you know, what, what they might see, you know, the more we have different perspectives in our room, the more different perspectives of theirs we're going to be able to also anticipate or understand. So, yeah. Yeah. What are some of the things that you do when you're not making theater? Ooh, good <sighs> question. Uh, I like to ride my bike. <laughs> that's, a, that's a weird one, but it's just... No, it's a great one. I also love to ride my bike. What is your bike's name? My bike's called? It's, uh, 
it doesn't have a name, but it's like a black ninja. Wait, it's not a ninja, it's a Nishiki. Anyways, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, it's been with me a long time, though. I've had this bike like 10 years. And then obviously shopping for amazing jumpsuits. <laughs> I, you know what? I looked in my closet and I've got like 12 jumpsuits. <laughs> You're just Outwardly. jumpsuits. It's like, <laughs> do you have like a specific place that you get jumpsuits or are you just open to like wherever <laughs> you find them? <laughs> you know, it, yeah, no, I have... Uh, I don't have a specific place, but there is this one place where I get um, like African print clothing online, and I have I want to say two or three jumpsuits from from them, and they're like these wild African prints that I'm like I don't even know where I'm gonna wear these. But <laughs> this is I just now them. now this is just an interview about jumpsuits. So we've just <laughs> been, that's it that's all we're doing. Um, <laughs> I mean, do you want to do you want to give them a shout out? Like, is this a business you want to love? Oh yeah, I love them. They're called Ofuri. It's O F U U R E, and it's like just incredible African print clothing. Which show do you think you could put the most jumpsuits in? That's the real question. I have. ooh ooh yeah, that's a, that's a really great question. Um, I have no idea. This has been so lovely. Yeah. It's so nice to sort of meet you. Um, and I, I can't wait until we can do so uh, in three dimensions at some point soon.